Oh. Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we are here aboard a Covenant cruiser looking to rescue Captain Keys. You know what? On second thought, Burning Dog fans, this is the moment. No human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the Flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect... ...what he'd want us to do. <sighs> it's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. Rest in peace, Captain. You fucking monsters. And we're running! This is the only thing the Flood know how to build. They gather all the bodies they can no longer use into one place, somehow break them down to undifferentiated biomass, and combine them into that. It's called a proto grave mind. There's only so far I can go on this topic at this point, but that is the brain that has been steering the Flood. Right now it's only smart enough for... starship repairs, guns... maybe driving a vehicle, though we've seen no evidence of that. All I will say about that is that we are very, very lucky that it's still in the proto stage. Oh, terminal. I guess that does make sense, huh? It's like directly underneath it. Jacob, Captain, service number 01928-19912-JK. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Where am I?
keys, Jacob. Oh, God, it hurts. This will never work, you covenant bastards. I'll never lead you to Earth. Keys, Jacob, Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. Oh, God. You don't want Earth. You want everything. Get out of my head. <laughs> Miranda, is that you? Forget everything. Oh, God. No, please. Don't let me forget. Jeez. Jacob. Captain. Service number. 1928-19912-J. No more what you were. Memories, emotions, all is now ours. Keys, take up. Captain, service number 01928-19912, JK. They... they described all that in the novels. I didn't know what actually get to see it. He just kept repeating his service number over and over and over again, ever since they captured him. He was intentionally sacrificing his own memories so that they wouldn't get to the information on, uh, where Earth is, where all its colonies are. And there was no way he was ever going to win. But he held off long enough for the chief to get here and make it impossible for them to get that knowledge from him. But it's so much worse than I realized. I... I didn't know it was already self-aware. I thought the proto-grave mind was just an animal. Oh, this is so, so much worse than anything I could have expected. If it's already talking, we could be hosed. This scene here, where he got the, the, the implants out, Hmm. Boy, that was unpleasant, but it uh, was originally much, much worse. They wanted to put a flamethrower weapon in Halo 1, and they wanted you to burn the implants out. But they had the art designers looking at, like, page after page of photos of burn victims in order to make the, you know, the, the graphics realistic. And eventually one of them just comes to the project lead and says, Hey, this is super disturbing, really depressing, and uh, I kind of don't want to do it anymore. And I don't know if it's because of that or not, but they ended up scrapping the flamethrower weapon entirely. Hey, sorry about the abrupt jump cut, but I suddenly find myself on Boarding Action, one of the original multiplayer maps. It's, uh, two Pillar of Autumn-inspired ships with the sides cut off, so you can have sniper duels with each other. And, you know, frequent teleporters to get from one side of the, uh, map to the other. Uh, but why am I here right now? To demonstrate that that flamethrower I was talking about was actually added in the, uh, 2003 PC release, 
which means they put it in the Master Chief Collection. Oh yes. I have no idea how uh, effective it is, unfortunately, because uh, this is not an actual multiplayer game. It does seem like a remarkably quick reload, though, for a flamethrower. Hmm. Back to you, me. Okay. I'm... I can't just wait around here or his sacrifice will be for nothing. Rest in peace, Jacob Keys. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, I think you're still standing next to that guy's body when he exploded. The, uh... That first woman who showed up in Keyes' memories as they were being erased? Uh, for the record, Miranda is his daughter, not his wife. I don't think he was ever actually married. We couldn't save the captain. Nothing could have. But we can make his sacrifice fucking count for something. Shit. Well, that happened. Fuck! I just did a 180. They say the central intelligence of the Flood can access every memory of everyone who has ever been connected to the Flood. Including the people who were added to the Flood the first time around, a hundred thousand years ago? Somehow? That memory is just floating in space, waiting for the Flood to come back. Black armor. Ow. God damn it. You might call that, you know, like symmetrical violence, but then keep in mind that, uh, there are a lot more grunts than there are Spartans, my dude. That was not an equal thing. Ah! Uh... Sounds big. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. I thought that. What even just happened? It 
sounded like a fuel rod gun going off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Almost had it that time. Oh, boy. I'm not losing all my goddamn friends. So that you assholes can kill me here. And doom the universe. Okay, think outside the box. Acupuncture time, bitches. Fucking hell! The, uh... Ancient memory of the Flood? I kind of assumed it couldn't access that memory until it reached a certain size. Man, the Flood is way the fuck more dangerous than I thought. So why aren't they already hijacking ships and getting out of here? Damn it. That was actually working really well. This is why the Needler is such a big fucking clip. Fire and forget, bitches! I wonder what this thing looks like if you wait to blast all the ammo out and then reload. Oh, hell. Oh, fuck. Grab one of the escort banshees and we'll use it to return to the door of honor. Been a goddamn while since we've heard the theme. Let's find out something. I think it makes that high pitched whining noise. No, 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 it just does that. Okay. And it's the very end of the level, so it doesn't matter. But leave no shotgun behind. Also, on a side note, I will admit that yes, it is kind of a plot hole that none of the other humans apparently led the Flood to, uh, Earth. But, goddamn, if that is isn't a dramatic sacrifice on the Captain's part, so, uh, I'll allow it. They took his fucking memories. I will not let that be for nothing. Oh. No. I don't think there was an explanation behind the uh, fuel rod guns exploding when they get dropped in this one. Other than the fact that it was oh, like a security measure, which they apparently stopped using immediately after this. And also before this, since there's probably fuel rod guns in Reach, it's been a while. Assuming that game came out 11 years ago, it's kind of hard to remember the full rosters of every game. Not roster, uh, armory. Arsenal! That's the word I was actually thinking of. Yes, good.
I mean, that is literally what they're for. I discovered just yesterday that they've made a, uh... Well, they've made a nerf, uh, gun in the design, the general design of the assault rifle from Halo, just, you know, bright green and orange, so it doesn't look like a gun gun. And, uh, now they're making a surprisingly accurate replica of, uh, the Needler. Now, unfortunately, it is a toy, so it doesn't actually fire, uh, you know, crystal darts that explode when they, impe when they uh, impale something. It instead fires, uh, <laughs> translucent pink nerf darts. <laughs> yes, more down, more down. Although at the moment, we're, uh, going to have to wait. Because we've hit the timer, so I'm calling it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Halo Anniversary, when we get the hell out of here and put these implants to good use. Later!